just in, the President of the United States, Bill Clinton, a committed supporter of the peace process, will visit with both sides of the community during his trip to Belfast before traveling to Londonderry. He's here! He's here! He's landed! I know he is, Dad. And just look at the state of the place. I better go and tell Jim across the road. Firstly, he's not coming to Derry until tomorrow. Have you seen the state of these skirting boards, Jerry? It'll take me a week to tackle them. And secondly, I think it's unlikely he'll call to our house. He might call, Jerry. Aye. He might take a notion. I think presidential bills are quite carefully planned. I don't think there's an awful lot of room for notion taken. Right, we need to clear this table. Jim's bringing his equipment over. What equipment? Them old radio transmitters that he collects. Him and Daddy think they can tap into the CIA systems on them. Excuse me? Jim really buzzes off radio contact. I don't think the CIA enjoy people trying to track the president down. I think they get bullied with that sort of stuff. Let them try and bloody stop me. They will stop you, Joe. They're the CIA. I won't miss my chance, nor again. Do you hear me, boy? What the hell are you planning to do? Well, when JFK came to Dublin, Uncle Colin saw him, and Daddy didn't. Things are going to be different this time, I tell you. JFK and Uncle Colin? Christ, that man had no luck, had he? I'm not sure any of this will get to meet Bill or Hillary. Some sense at last. They'll be far too busy. That's why we've decided to take Chelsea off their hands. What? We're going to bring him to Liz McGavin soon, though. The wave machine's been fixed. Lovely. I hope she remembers her swimming cap and they've gone dead strict on swimming caps. And that Wayne's got some head of hair on her. Dear Jesus. Just one announcement today, girls. The President of the United States of America is coming here to Derry, and I, for one, can barely believe it. I mean, people in this place stop killing each other for five minutes and the whole world goes into absolute chaos. No, this visit concerns me for a number of reasons, girls, but mostly because I'm scared it'll give the Pope ideas and that's the last thing I need. No, Our Lady of Immaculate will play no part in this farce and I expect to see you all here tomorrow, business as usual. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. She can't do this. She simply cannot do this. Well, she's done it, Claire. But it's history. She's making us miss history. Oh, but I really want to find out that corner fella's up to next. I really enjoy him. Not history, Glasorla. Real history. History being made. And Irish people aren't allowed to enjoy Oliver Cromwell, Orla. Why not? Because he was a fucking arsehole. Look, Bill doesn't get here until four o'clock tomorrow. Bill? Who are you as ma? We've got plenty of time is all I'm saying. Do you know how packed the Yellow Square is going to be, James? I have to come overnight just to get a glimpse of one. Chelsea will sort us out. Any word on Chelsea? Not a dicky. And I've sent that letter over a week ago. And you're sure you got the address right? Chelsea Clinton, the White House, America. Just doesn't make any sense. Did you send a first class? We're not made of money, Michelle. Oh, I'm not even sure I trust Chelsea anymore. Aye, Chelsea might be flaky. She does have crafty eyes. I'm not very comfortable with this Chelsea bashing girl. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened here. It's ever likely to happen here. We should be a part of it. We will be. Are you suggesting we play truant? Okay, normal people don't call it that. But yes, yes I am. You know what girls? Sometimes in order to do the right thing, you have to do the wrong thing. On this occasion, right is wrong and wrong is right. What the fuck are you on about? Are you going to sack off school or not? Let's do it. What kept you two? Wires back? Really? And tell me these swains, how are the eyebrows? What do you mean? Kathy McGuire had the best eyebrows in Derry back in her day. I have no time for that Kathy McGuire, Sarah. She abandoned her own way. She always was one self-serving wee madam. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about her eyebrows. Kathy and her eyebrows are two separate entities. Fine. Her eyebrows were exceptional. Thank you. It's Uncle Colm. Dear God, no. Is everything all right, Colm? Oh God, aye. Well, that only is giving me a bit of a jib, but I won't bore you with the details. I doubt that. Is there something we can do for you, Colm? Oh, I'll just go around to help with this CIA business. 
Who told you about that? Ah, uh, he did, Joe. No chance. I'm sorry, Colm, but you and I cannot be part of this. If you meet Bill Clinton, then you'll be a president up, and I can't have you being ahead of me president-wise. One of his presidents dead, Daddy? It still counts. Shh. I'd only have to even things up again. Shh. So, I can't spend the rest of my life chasing after bloody presidents. I have other things to be at. Shut up, Joe. What the blazes is wrong? I think I've got something. Don't toy with me now, Jim. Aye. It was a CIA agent, all right. He said, he said he's bringing Bill back to base. And I know where he is. Jerry, are you okay to drive us? What? We need someone to stay in the car, just in case things don't go to plan. So I'll get you a car essentially. No, worst case scenario. No case scenario. Any word from Chelsea, girls? Not a dick of her, mammy. It's her loss. The way for she was absolutely cracker. Ah, well, she at least just have given the day off school. That's something. We didn't get any off school, mum. We were going truant. Truant? Why is she not, Mary? It's open. Mum and in. All right. I hope you don't mind, Miss Quinn, but... Oh, Kathy, it's yourself. Long time, girls. It is indeed. And fair play to you. You've kept them eyebrows ship-shaped so you have. Eck, you're too kind, Sarah. I'm serious. They're in great neck. It must be some comfort to you. Anyways, I hate to impose on you, but I gotta make a phone call, and unbelievably, my sister doesn't have a phone. Of course not. Work away. You're a brick. Let me find my file of facts. A brick? Are you staying with your dear to them? Yes, I am, and it's a bloody nightmare, if I'm being honest. I had forgotten how small those little houses were. I really don't know how you do it. Oh, we just about managed, Cathy, in our teeny tiny house. But it's worth it if I get to see my big, handsome boy. He is the only man in my life from now on. Mum's had a lot going on. Yeah, I've actually started my own business. It's a real passion project, a real labour of love, and it's just, just starting to take off. Right, and uh, what sort of an area is it? Self-adhesive labels. You make stickers. You're a sticker maker. And is there much money in sticker making, Kathy? They're not stickers. Labels, they're labels. I think it's going to do really well. Mum asked me to be a partner in business, so I'm going to go back to London with her. What? We don't want you to go. It doesn't matter that you've got that stupid accent, or that your bits are different to our bits. Well, because being a dairy girl, what the fuck can say to my James? It's my mum. I have to. I'm sorry. Well, we get it. We better get going before Claire absolutely cracks herself. Excuse me, son. Where to? We are just wondering if you'd seen the Clintons knocking about anything around here. What would the Clintons be doing in Bert? Heading to the chapel, Bill. Aye. Anyone near base to pick up Bill? Over. Anyone near base at all? Over. Five minutes, Bill. That's good, that's good. Now, Jim, we'll be open to the following possibility at all. That it was, in fact, not a CIA agent that you were picking up on that transmitter of yours, but an actual taxi for to bring Bill to Mass. Aye. Well, he did have a strong gun, Donegal accent, now that you mention it. Jesus, Jim. Girls, I've got us the best spot ever! What the fuck is wrong with you? See that bitch over there? I fought her. I'm gonna fight her again if I have to. James is going back to London with his ma. That's not even remotely funny. It's true. She only wants him now because she's not on her own. You should have talked him out of it. I'm a dairy girl! I'm a dairy girl! You're just a prick! <laughs>